Hi, Don Brown here, and welcome to Invent Yourself Rich. Today we're going to talk about focus. All right, so I want you to open your mind. You're going to learn how to focus on proven categories and how to truly create something remarkable. So I'm going to give you a perfect example. A proven category in the kitchen gadget market is can openers. All right, we got a bunch of can openers here, and the, the concept here is, you know, there's already a category, right? People buy can openers probably every day. So how can you come up with an idea that can make you a lot of money by simply focusing on a proven category and innovate within the category? Right, so again, I'm going to give you the example. The original can opener, let's just say it was, you know, the original one I think was just this little wing nut or it had like a uh, little, uh, you know, like this piece. See this piece here? It poked a hole in the can, you went around the can, you popped the top off. That was the original can opener. Then someone got smart and said, wait a minute, let's come up with a way to slice it so we can spin this little key and go around the can. All right, so that was sort of the birth of the modern can opener as we knew it today. Then someone down the road said, well, wait a minute, maybe I can um, make it better. So they had more leverage, you know, the same concept, poked a hole in the can, you walked it around, had some blue grips. Now, the difference between this can opener and this one is not a whole lot. A little more leverage, you know, a blue grip, a better can opener, more expensive than the basic one. But in my opinion, not dramatically different enough. It's not remarkable that it's going to make you a lot of money. And when you think about inventing anything, it's going to take you the same amount of time, whether you create something as simple as this and add the little can opener on the top, or you make a heavier duty one. It's basically the same concept. It slices the edge. <clears throat> what happened, some smart person figured out a way to make something truly innovative. These were the safety can openers. You've probably seen these. You clip them on top of the can and it delaminates the edge of the can that was sealed on the original can. So the top comes off without puncturing it and you don't get the bacteria, you don't have any sharp edges, people don't get cut. And it's the name here, safety can opener. So this product is truly innovative within a proven category. End result, millions of these were sold, all right? I think three different companies were selling them on TV, fortunes were made, simple innovation. Now you had to think about it, but the magic here is you focused in a proven category. Because every week, you know, I have inventors that come to me and they have, oh, Don, I've got a dozen ideas. But the concept here is don't try to spend all your time on all these different ideas. Focus on one idea, the one that has the biggest category that's proven because the customer is already familiar with it. Then innovate, show them something that truly is different. Take your time, design it well, and guess what? Millions of dollars, all right? This could have been your idea. Simple one. Now, again, this is another version of it. And what happened more recently, about three years ago, somebody decided to combine the electric can opener, which we know, you know, you, this, this one sits on the counter, Put the can on, spins around. The one that attracts cats, they go nuts. When you have a cat and you hit this can opener, it's like a cat call. But um, anyway, someone took the concept of an electric can opener and combined it with this product, which was a home run, which is you know delaminating the can, the top of the can without puncturing it. And they made it into a simple mini electric can opener. It was called the One Touch Can Opener. This product did extremely well. Okay, the company who did this, millions and millions were made. Okay, so your lesson for today, focus on proven categories, something as simple as can openers, all right? Stay with one invention. Don't start working on all your different inventions. I do that a lot, and let me tell you, when I focus on one, it makes a big difference. That's how you make money, all right? So again, focus on proven categories, innovate within the category so that you truly come up with something remarkable, not just a little bit different, a lot different, and then the next level, really remarkable. That's how you make millions. Got it? Okay, so now what do you need? Proven category, one good idea, and you too can invent yourself rich.